Hello Aries, I'm Susie from the Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 27th of June. And I've just got up and it's really early in the morning. So, because I'm late as well. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Aries to know? What would you like Aries to know about this week of the 27th of June? What would you like Aries to know? Okay. Okay. deck we've got judgment so a lot of things coming up out of the closet um, massive healing uh, it could be something fated or karmic that you pay off this week or someone karmic coming towards you uh, we've got the nine of wands with the strength you are you've you've come out of the war this, you come out of the battle wounded, but massively, massively strong. Um, it's like you've, you've won the war, basically, and now you're ready to get out of your confine. Your, you've fought your ego, you've fought other people, you've fought dramas, you've helped everybody. Um, very Leo-like, you're coming out through the heart now, you want to expand your life and, and be loving and maybe even on stage um, but there's some there's a, a new seed being planted here there's something, a brand new seed for the security for the future and you're getting ready for it you're going to want to look at yourself in that cup there and fall in love with yourself and be really healthy um and fit it's about health it could be a message of love but it's about health mostly and uh, you're going to feel that you are not taking any prisoners speaking your knowledge your truth and uh, she's very cold sort of relationship the queen of swords it could be someone you're dealing with you could get a message from this person but ultimately you're leaping taking a leap of faith into having fun um, it could be something to do with children here, with the fall and the page of cups. Um, this just seems to be like fun. There's a there's a a cut off point, and it seems like you're just taking a leap of faith into travel, into new things. You're seeing things differently. You're being very spiritual. Um, you might have to wait for something this week. You might want to go some, somewhere fast or imminently, but someone might say, look, we've got to wait till whenever. So like I said, this card always means two weeks for me. Um, in this waiting period, you can be at the crossroads thinking, right, I've got choices. I am going to write something. I'm going to manifest my outcome. I'm going to magically point my wand at something and it's you have a lot of power. Someone could ask you to wait for them and it's all down to you. You can't blame anyone else for, for the outcome because it's your choice ultimately. You, you can make it magical. This could be something to do with a boss or, or a twin flame, an emperor. He's very abundant. He owns a, his empire. Uh, these are really strong cards together. Okay, so it's like a, you could have something to do with spiritual, something you've written down. Um, you're given two paths this week and you're going to leave it up to God to... It's kind of like the sign to take you down that path. And as soon as that path is decided, like the feather drops in your way or you turn right instead of the left, it's like something or someone, you get victory... They rush towards you. It's very quick action. And you could have someone coming in to invest in you. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a choice between two people. But this person works really hard. And they're, they're coming straight for you or you're going straight for them. You're balancing out your life. It's, it's, it's a real nice balance. But it can as soon as you decide which thing you want, you're going to run towards it. Or as soon as this person decides what thing they want, they're going to rush towards you. 
which usually means they've chosen them. So if this is another person, they're getting out of a war, they're getting strong courage to plant a new seed or offer you an engagement, um, they're getting themselves ready, they might say to, to, to you, so wait, you're a bit cold to this month of relationship, but you really want to take a leap of faith into it. Um, you're seeing things differently, they're seeing things differently, and you can have whatever you want in the realms of your in the realms of love as long as you see the positive outcome or they see the the, the highest possible vibration of it um this boss here might want you to give you a job or they might say to you i love you do you want to come and visit me i'm coming to visit you um and someone else might say i'm coming to visit you too and i want to want you to have this job so there's these two choices this decision but as soon as it's made it's kind of like you leave it up to the universe or the hierophants in the background saying to him Come on, Jason, we need you to go. Now that you're ready, it's like you've got ready. Someone's ready for something. You can go on this journey. Angels, spirit. Hold on a minute. My stomach's rumbling, so I've got coffee. Angels, what would you like Aries to know? What would you like Aries to know about this week of the 27th of June? Aries. Okay, so we've got... You are a light work. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the world and all of its inhabitants. That's that Leo, and that's this, this hanged man and the magician. They're very spiritual cards. Uh, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. You must. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. This is you, Aries. You've got to assert yourself to the, towards this change, this, this decision. And as soon as this decision is made... Action, action, victory, victory, yin, yang are together and you're focused on something. It could be someone that's king or that you're really hard working to make a lot of money. Let's ask one more angel, please, for Aries for the week of 27th. Week of 27th. You could be making more money at the end of this week, but there's a seed being planted for stability. We've got, I'm the angel of abundance. You'll receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Told you. Angel spirit guides, what would you like? I wanted to say Jasmine and I don't, I did have a dog called Jasmine. But I was like, what do you want Jasmine to know? So if there's anyone called Jasmine out there, I don't know a Jasmine personally. Apart from my dog. But um, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. The angels, spirit guides. What do you like? Aries to know. Very soon. See, this thing's coming. It's very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Something new here, this, this ace of pentacles with the fall is something maybe that you haven't done before and you're, you're hanging back, seeing it differently, working out, how do I make this happen? How do I make this work? Angels, spirit, God, the religious factors could be that someone is, there might be an age gap or a distance between you and this person might be traveling straight for you. Okay, we've got these. It's got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And you deserve love. You are lovable. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. <gasps> is this a twin flame coming straight towards you? Someone really hard working. Someone who maybe concentrates more on their job than anything else. You've got Pisces. You've got Virgo. You've got Aries. Leo. Cancer. Capricorn. Aquarius. Gemini. Oh, A Aries, Aries. The person most on Aries' mind, what would they like to tell them? I wish I had treated you better. Angel spirit, because the person most on Aries' mind, what would they like to tell them? The person most on Aries' mind, what would they like to tell them? That's the most on Aries' mind. I will wait for you. Well, I will wait for a sign from you. 
angels, spirit guides, the person most in Aries' mind, what they like to tell them. The person most on Aries' mind, what they like to tell them. The most in Aries' mind. We will be together again. Someone, someone's determined. <laughs> angels, spirit guides, what would you like? The person most on Aries' mind, what would they like to tell them? I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's someone coming towards you to tell you something. Maybe they've got a new job or they're new. There's something new. They want to plant a seed with you for the future. Um, someone could have, you know, a new baby or something like that. But lots of stuff is coming, like I said, to heal. And when you get the judgment this week, you you might look at someone and say, well, I, I did do that. It's kind of he who throws the first stone. And no one throws a stone because they've all done that certain thing. So it's like forgiveness and stuff like this. It's forgiving people and realising, well, I've done that before. Or maybe this person, you did this to them in another life and now they're doing it to you. It's like learning. Lots of knowledge, that judgment. So there's money coming to you. It's asking you to take action, to be a light worker. You've, true love is coming in very soon. The more you do your light work, the more you come from, from the heart. Um plant a new seed this week there's something new that you're going to do it could be a creative venture it could be writing it could be a love life um but do it in your authentic self like that queen of swords tell the absolute truth be yourself be yourself as the emperor the 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 boss and um allow this things coming to, to you very soon very very soon um and it could be something you work with spiritually. Uh, take care, uh, Harry. Sorry, I'm a bit tired, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.